This is the Ampace P600 power station, a 600 watt power bank that can be used to jumpstart your car, truck, or motorcycle, but it can do a lot more than that. It can deliver power to multiple devices simultaneously and has some other cool features. How am I going to use this in Cruise Man's garage? Well, first, let's do a quick unboxing and take a closer look at the Ampace P600. So let's unbox this Ampace Power Pack, see what comes in the package. One of the first things you notice when you take this out of the package is how well packaged it is. And there is a very clear, well-written instruction manual that tells you everything you need to know. There's a lot of this foam material to protect the unit, and the unit itself is pretty heavy. And you can tell right away it's well made and substantial. There are a couple of boxes here. We'll open those up in a second. This is the unit itself. Uh, like I said, it's pretty pretty hefty. It it has some weight to it. Okay, we have some different cables. This is a car charger. And I think this is so that you can charge this unit uh, using a car battery. So if you're out camping or something and you want to make sure this is fully charged, uh, you can just plug that into your cigarette lighter on your car and charge it up. Ah, here we go. I'll bet this is it. So you do have like a little transformer. And that would plug into here to charge this unit. And then this plugs into the wall into here. So it's just like a typical, like a computer would have or anything. It just converts the, the power coming out of the wall probably to DC. So it will charge this unit. So you basically would leave this plugged in at your house to keep it fully charged. And then when you're ready to go, you just unplug it and you're done. So on the front, or on the, I guess this is the front of the unit, which you recall, we have two AC power outputs, uh, 600 watt maximum power. We've got several different USB outputs. We have a USB-C 60 watt. We have a USB-1 output, which I believe these two are 12 watts, and this other one down below at the bottom is an 18 watt output. So you could do some rapid charging of your uh, cell phone, your other USB chargeable components. We have the input, which is your DC input, which you can use from the car battery uh, accessory or from your uh, AC adapter. They also have an optional solar panel to, uh, that would charge this, but that's an option. You can buy that if, you, if you're interested in that. And then we have a cigarette lighter output. So if you have items that use a cigarette lighter style uh, that need to be charged from that, this is an output for a DC output. And then this is a little bit different DC output here is a DC 5521 output. So anytime you press one of these buttons, you get a display out here, like an LCD display. And it looks like right now the battery came shipped with 79% capacity, and it says 99 hours. And I'm not sure what that 99 hours refers to, but that's what it says. Uh, we also have a jump starter uh, input here. They do have an optional jump starter for your car. If you need to use this as a jump starter, you can. And then they also have an optional uh, extended battery that doubles the life of this battery. So that's a pretty cool option. That's another optional thing you can purchase. And then the unit also has an LED light built in with three levels of brightness, as well as uh, a flashing, like for an emergency flash or an SOS flash. I like that. That's very cool. So what is the application for this? Well, I think mostly it'd be for people 
who camp. If you're camping and you're staying at a tent, uh, you might have something like this. This would be a little heavy to carry on a motorcycle. You could carry it in a motorcycle trailer if you if you have it, but it's pretty substantial size. I'm going to be using this around the house. Now, I've got kind of an interesting application for this thing because when they first reached out to me, you know, what? how does this apply to a motorcycle? I think I have an application for using this in my garage. I'll show you what that is when we go out to the garage and how I can, I think, use this. But it's a pretty nice thing to have in case of an emergency. Let's say your power goes out like we had happen a couple of years ago. It went out for four days. I could have used a system like this to power a few lights. Let's get this out to the garage and I'll show you how I'm thinking I can use this Ampace P600 portable power station. So the first thing I did was to plug this into the AC adapter so that I could fully charge the battery. And it was at this time I started to learn a little bit more about this LCD display on the front, which, by the way, is extremely informative. Here it shows you that I have 79% capacity and it's going to take about 1.2 hours to fully charge the unit. This power station delivers power in three different formats. First, it offers DC power through a cigarette-style connector or one or both of the DC5521 outputs. You can power up to four USB devices through any of the four different outputs. There's a USB-C 60-watt output, two 12-watt USB-1 outputs, and an 18-watt USB 2 output. And finally, up to 600 watts of power are available through these two US-style 110 AC outlets. Each of these outputs has its own switch so that you can turn on or off the power to each of the circuits individually or all at the same time. When you press a switch the first time, it turns on the display to show you the capacity. And if you press it a second time, it turns on that circuit. You'll also notice a light on the LCD display showing you that AC power has been turned on. Each circuit has its own corresponding display on the LCD, so you can see which circuits are on or off. About two years ago, not quite two years ago, we had a really, really bad freeze here in Texas. We were without power for four straight days. I was without electricity. I did have gas, so I was able to uh, sort of get warm in the house. I could turn on the stove. I could turn on our fireplace. We have a gas fireplace, and we could get a little bit of heat. During the day, I had a friend's house I could go to, and he did have power and electricity. But in the evenings, I was here alone, and there was no light. And I was thinking, you know, if I had had this, there's a lot I could have done that I was unable to do. First of all, I would have had the built-in light here, so I could have had an additional light, and I could have plugged in a lamp, which I'll do right now. Now that fan comes on initially, but then it goes out, and it'll come on if it needs it. So now you see I've got electricity, I've got light there. I could have also charged my laptop, basically plug it in right here, and uh, snap it in here and now the MacBook is charging. Uh, I've got 39, between 39 and 50 hours of time if I just left these two things on. Now this is an LED light bulb so it's a, a lower power draw than an incandescent light. Well I could charge my phone. I've got USB chargers here and I could also charge the uh, MacBook from the USB-C. In fact, I'll do that and just disconnect this cable. I've got a USB-C connector here and I can plug right up here into this 60 watt USB-C and now I'm charging my MacBook through the USB connection and that frees up another AC output over here. And I use a little wireless uh, pad to charge my cell phone. Now that's on. Now my cell phone's charging. My laptop is charging. I have a lamp. 
And this, I just can't tell you how huge this would have been during that ice storm. And of course, in addition to all of this functionality, I could still plug in two more USB chargers here so I could charge other things. If I had wanted to do a video here in the studio, I could have plugged in my studio lights to this. It would have enough power to run my studio lights long enough for me to shoot a video. By the time I got up in the morning, I was freezing cold. It was 44 degrees in the bedroom. So the first thing I did in the morning is I went out and got in the car turn the car on to let the heat, you know, to get warm. That's when I would take this, I would have taken this out to the car, used the little DC charger, plugged this into the cigarette lighter on my car, and I could recharge this using my car. Now I've got some other ideas of how I can use this out in the garage when I'm working on my car or my motorcycle. So let's get to the garage. You may not know this about me, but I absolutely hate extension cords. So I'm going to use this Ampace P600 as a portable extension cord. I never seem to have an electrical outlet where I need it. I'm going to use my blaster sidekick today to just blow some leaves out of my garage. With this P600, I don't need an extension cord because I've got power anywhere, anytime I need it. As you can see, this little uh, blaster does a pretty good job of blowing the leaves out. And when the cord's not long enough, I can simply pick up this P600 and carry it with me. So I have unlimited range while I'm working in the garage. When I wash my motorcycle or car in the driveway, I would much rather blow dry it in the driveway than have to bring it in the garage and get water all over the floor. So as you can see, with this P600, I can do that and you can use your imagination any electrical tool you can use this as a portable replacement for an extension cord. Well, that completes my initial review of the Ampace P600 power station. Overall I am very impressed with this product and I think it's actually a very good value for all that it offers. I plan on using this quite a bit. Now, if you liked this video, please take a second to click that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.